We have already made a few videos talking about Starlink, but there are still some viewers asking the same question. You gave decent features, but I'd like a further expansion. Does the connection to Starlink include continuous connection with the phone? Today, we will explain it more clearly and answer that question directly. Starlink on the Model 2 is not about adding another network, but about how Tesla keeps the car always ready to respond so that controlling the car via the phone app becomes more stable and has fewer real-world errors. If you have ever experienced opening the app on your phone and waiting endlessly, or the car responding inconsistently, this section will be very worth watching. Subscribe to Auto Gear Shift to help the channel reach 21,659 subscribers and remember to turn on notifications. What does background Starlink on Model 2 actually mean? When people hear Tesla Model 2 Starlink, many immediately imagine a shrunken residential Starlink kit mounted on the car and used like Wi-Fi. From a technical standpoint, that approach is completely unsuitable for a mass-market electric vehicle. Consumer Starlink systems are designed for fixed environments with stable power, no vibration, no constant temperature changes, and no strict limits on power consumption. A car is the opposite. Every system on a vehicle must be optimized for durability, low power consumption, and stable operation over many years. In addition, standard Starlink residential kits typically consume around 50 to 75 watts on average and can draw even more under heavy load. For a small electric car, sustaining that level of power draw continuously would clearly impact overall efficiency and driving range. This is why Tesla Model 2 Starlink is designed in a completely different way. The antenna is flat, low power, and serves a single purpose only, which is to keep the vehicle connected at a minimal data level to Tesla's system. In networking and embedded systems, a background connection is not meant to carry large volumes of data. Its purpose is to ensure the device is never completely disconnected. Tesla Model 2 Starlink works exactly on that principle. The car only needs to maintain a link at the level of a few tens to a few hundred kilobits per second to send status data, receive control commands, synchronize information, and support remote diagnostics. These tasks do not require high bandwidth, but they are extremely sensitive to connection loss. Starlink is well suited to this role because of its low Earth orbit characteristics. Starlink satellites orbit at around 550 kilometers, which is far lower than geostationary satellites at over 35,000 kilometers. Because of this shorter distance, Starlink latency in real-world conditions is typically around 20 to 40 milliseconds. This is low enough that remote control commands do not feel sluggish. By contrast, geostationary satellites have latencies of around 600 milliseconds which makes real-time vehicle control nearly unacceptable. Another important factor is real-world coverage. Although mobile networks in the U.S. have high population coverage, many reports show that signal quality drops significantly in suburban or rural areas. In multi-level parking structures, underground garages, or locations far from city centers, vehicles losing cellular connectivity is very common. Tesla Model 2 Starlink is not intended to replace cellular networks under ideal conditions, but to fill exactly these gaps. When cellular signal is weak or completely unavailable, Starlink ensures the vehicle remains present in Tesla's system and does not fall out of the app. In short, Tesla Model 2. Starlink is designed as a dedicated background connectivity layer for the vehicle system. It is not aimed at high speeds, does not serve entertainment purposes, and does not compete with home internet. Its real value lies in maintaining stable connectivity in situations where cellular networks often fail. This approach makes Tesla Model 2 Starlink the foundation for a more reliable phone-based control experience, rather than just a feature that sounds impressive on paper. Before this, did you think Starlink on Model 2 was meant to work like in-car Wi-Fi? or as a background system that keeps the car always connected? Comment. Wi-Fi or background below. 
Where is Starlink mounted inside Model 2? And why does that placement matter? If Starlink were an add-on device, the system would develop multiple weak points over time, such as vibration loosening connections, moisture causing connector oxidation, and splashing water increasing the risk of ingress. For a mass market vehicle, Tesla must prioritize long-term durability because real-world usage typically spans 10 to 15 years. That is why the Starlink antenna on Tesla Model 2 is permanently integrated and hidden beneath the vehicle body panels instead of being exposed. The most reasonable location is under the roof panel, behind the front seats, and slightly offset toward the center of the car. This area offers a good view of the sky to maintain stable satellite links, while also being protected from direct impacts, water splashes, and mud. This layout closely follows the design logic used when integrating GPS or cellular antennas. Most importantly, users never see any external Starlink device, and there is no need for manual on and off operation. This sealed integration significantly reduces long-term risks. In automotive electronics, cables and connectors are the components that degrade fastest due to vibration and humidity. Tesla minimizes these failure points by avoiding external housings, exposed wiring, and unnecessary connectors that interact with the environment. The result is a Tesla Model 2 Starlink system that remains stable over time, fitting the idea of you use it and almost forget it exists. The antenna size must also be suitable for hiding inside the vehicle body. Starlink Mini, with dimensions of approximately 298.5 by 259 by 38.5 millimeters, is the most suitable option. It is small enough to integrate under the roof without altering the exterior design, while still providing sufficient surface area for a stable satellite link. Larger options like Starlink Standard or Flat High Performance are harder to package inside the vehicle body and do not align with Model 2's background connectivity objective. In summary, Tesla Model 2 Starlink is integrated with the philosophy of hidden inside the body, minimal failure points, no user intervention. The goal is for the connection system to operate reliably for many years, and more importantly, for the car to always be ready to respond when you open the app on your phone instead of working only intermittently. What does Starlink connect to inside the car, and why is that the key detail? Tesla does not route Starlink directly to the infotainment screen or cabin Wi-Fi as an internet source for passengers. Instead, Starlink connects directly to the vehicle gateway or central computer, where all vehicle data is coordinated. In this architecture, Starlink becomes a system-level link rather than a consumer connection. This design allows Tesla to tightly control data prioritization. In an electric vehicle, the most critical data is actually very lightweight. Phone-based commands such as locking or unlocking doors, turning climate control on, or checking battery status are usually under 10 kilobytes per command. Even vehicle status data sent back to Tesla servers is only on the order of a few tens to a few hundred kilobytes per minute. At this load level, a stable Starlink connection of a few tens to a few hundred kilobits per second is more than sufficient for core functions. This becomes especially important when compared to consumer internet usage. A single HD video stream can consume 3 to 5 megabits per second, while 4K video can exceed 15 megabits per second. If Tesla allowed Starlink to feed cabin Wi-Fi directly, a single device streaming video could immediately consume the available bandwidth, causing control commands and safety data to be delayed or interrupted. Tesla avoids this scenario entirely by not turning the car into a router and by keeping Starlink in a controlled background backhaul role. Thanks to this design, Tesla Model 2 Starlink gives absolute priority to safety, status, and control. The vehicle gateway decides which data is sent first, which data is rate limited, and which data is not allowed to pass through Starlink at all. This ensures the vehicle always maintains a stable communication channel with Tesla's system. Even when cellular signal is weak, or the car is parked in hard-to-reach locations. 
That is why, when viewers ask whether Starlink helps the phone maintain continuous connection with the car, the answer lies in this connection flow. By feeding Starlink into the vehicle's coordination core, the car itself stays online at the system level. As a result, the phone app no longer has to wait for the car to reconnect and control actions on Tesla Model 2. Starlink become more stable and reliable in daily use. When does Model 2 switch from cellular to Starlink, and how does it happen automatically? Tesla Model 2 always operates with a dual-layer parallel connectivity model. In areas with good cellular coverage, the system prioritizes cellular networks because of lower cost and higher speed. In practice, 4G and 5G networks in the U.S. cover over 90% of the population and can reach tens to hundreds of megabits per second under ideal conditions. However, coverage at the actual vehicle location, especially in suburbs, mountainous areas, highways, or underground parking, is far less stable. When cellular quality drops below a safe threshold, Tesla Model 2 Starlink automatically switches to Starlink to maintain communication. This process is fully managed by the system. The user sees no notification, performs no action, and does not need to know which network the car is using. Technically, this is a classic failover mechanism used in critical systems, where the goal is not maximum speed but minimizing the probability of total connection loss. With this approach, the chance of the car falling out of the system is significantly reduced compared to relying on a single network. What makes this mechanism feasible is the extremely low data consumption of the vehicle's background connection. Phone control commands, battery status data, location, door lock state, and basic diagnostics typically consume only a few tens of kilobytes per minute. Even when combined, the background connectivity load usually falls in the range of 50 to 300 kilobits per second, far below consumer application requirements. Meanwhile, under normal conditions, Starlink can deliver tens of megabits per second, making it entirely practical to allocate a small fraction of bandwidth to continuous background connectivity. The key difference lies in availability and latency. Starlink operates in low Earth orbit with typical latency between 20 and 40 milliseconds, which is low enough for remote control commands to feel responsive. When combined with cellular, the system always has at least one active link, instead of depending on a single network that may disappear suddenly when the car enters a weak signal area. Therefore, the true value of Tesla Model 2 Starlink in the always available mechanism is not measured in megabits per second, but in connection probability. When cellular is strong, cellular is used for speed and cost efficiency. When cellular is weak, Starlink takes over to keep the car online. The result is a more stable daily experience, especially when controlling the car via phone, with far fewer situations where you open the app and the car does not respond. How does a constantly connected car make phone control more reliable? What users notice most with Tesla Model 2 Starlink is the feeling that the car is always there. When you open the app on your phone, the car does not disappear, does not load endlessly, and rarely shows connection errors. The reason is that Starlink helps the car maintain a more stable background connection, keeping it consistently present in Tesla's system instead of switching between online and offline states. Normally, the phone sends a command to Tesla's servers, which then relay the command to the car. If the car is offline, the command is delayed, stalled, or times out, and the app reports an error. This is a common experience when cars are parked in underground garages, multi-level parking structures, or weak signal areas. With Tesla Model 2 Starlink maintaining background connectivity, the car does not fall out of the system, so phone commands always have a destination immediately. Users can maintain control of their car regardless of where it is parked. Phone-based vehicle commands are actually very lightweight. Locking or unlocking doors, turning on climate control, or checking battery status or location typically involves very small data payloads often under 10 kilobytes per tap. 
Starlink on the Model 2 is not about speed or turning the car into a router. It is about keeping the car consistently online, so phone control works when you actually need it. When Starlink is used as a background connectivity layer, Tesla can reduce dropped connections, failed commands, and those moments when the app just will not respond. If you find this kind of practical engineering first breakdown helpful, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift and turn on notifications so you do not miss the next video.